Hey guys, welcome to the Spitfire Podcast. This is B Yellow, and this is our first episode. Um, we're gonna go through and acknowledge the rest of the class now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> acknowledge is crazy. <laughs> go ahead, Robbie. Oh, um, I'm Robbie. I'm the Leo. Zai, I am the first and primary Aries. <laughs> <laughs> And my name's Aki. I'm your new favorite Sagittarius. And it's a Spitfire. Huck <laughs> too. Not that. Well, gentlemen. Okay. Well, so we decided to do Spitfire podcast because, well, it was actually B who brought us the idea. Mm-hmm. We wanted something. We realized we have four big personalities. We're all four fire signs, and that's a fun time. Um, we have two Aries, which is B and Zai. Then you have the Leo, which is Robbie, and then you have a Sag, the best sign out there. So we figured this would be a good way to sort of, I don't know, connect with the community more, um, have a podcast that people who sort of look like us have something they can turn to, listen to, and watch, um, because we feel like we sort of connect with different people in a different way. However, like, even though we're all different, we sort of come together, and it's like this amazing thing. Definitely. So, yeah. For sure. And we're excited to get started. Um, we're excited to get rolling. And from that point, um, B, do you want to say anything about the podcast? Um, I feel like for me, mostly it was definitely about bringing together um, not just a community in general, more like our community within our friend group. I feel like we're different than like a lot of the other people in Columbus that I've encountered. I feel like for us, we kind of care about opinions and about things that we want to do. And we actually want to bring each other up versus trying to compete with everything. And I feel like that's very common in every every community, honestly. And I feel like we're just different when it comes to that. And I really wanted to bring something to the table that people can relate to and that people can look up to. Um, we're not trying to take anyone's spot. We're really just bringing something different, something new, something fresh. And I feel like these guys are really the best group of guys to do this with. And we just so happen to all be fire signs. And I get along with them well. Um, I met Ike first. Then I met Zion and Robbie around the same time. And we kind of, honestly, we get along and we all have thick skin so we can joke Mm -hmm. around and nobody gets their feelings hurt. And I feel like that's important when it comes to, first off, a podcast and then also just creating some type of community within each other. Yeah, and I just feel like, honestly, for me, one of the big things that drew me to it is I feel that we already have so many, like, great conversations that, honestly, I wish a camera would have been set up for already. Um, So when the idea was positioned to me of like, hey, do you guys want to like babble into a mic? I was like, yeah, I'm all for it. Cause <laughs> you know, as we should. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Also, I like to talk, so I'm not even gonna hold you. That he sure. does. I love sure. to talk, it's very fun. <laughs> um, I also have many opinions that I feel like everybody should hear. Um, <laughs> and that was also kind of like why I want to do a podcast. Like mm-hmm. I always had like the idea to sort of do a podcast or do another radio show, but like, it just never worked out. Mostly because like, everybody knows as Sages, we procrastinate on everything, so we get lazy. And we'll have like, we'll start 50 projects, not finish any of them. And I started multiple projects and didn't finish any of them. But so when B was like, hey, I have an idea for this podcast. I was like, you know what? Finally, somebody who could, who I know will actually force me. Be in our ass. (laughs) Yeah. So that's why I sort of did it. Robbie? I like to rant. Um, a lot on social media Um, so just really getting into different topics nuanced topics I mostly do social justice issues type of thing Um, but just having a new perspective on things and you know a new idea a new viewpoint so yeah it was silence (laughs) I'm just gonna keep it a buck it was silence I don't know why I still went off (laughs) well 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 (laughs) So, so yeah, let's get into some questions. Um, so we sort of answer like sort of why we wanted to do a podcast mm-hmm. or what drew, drew Ooh, us to that. I just thought about something. Why don't we say kind of what our, like what we're looking to get out of this for ourselves? For sure. Ooh, but okay. That's a good question. Well, um, I, <laughs> go right ahead, well, I don't, um, to get out of it, I don't. Community, probably, for me. That would be community. Mm -hmm. I think I, from a personal level, um, I think I lean towards more being a little bit introverted. So I feel like 
you know, kind of having to force myself into a public forum, it's going to kind of force me to be a little bit more ostentatious, gregarious, if you will. Um, just in personality, because I feel like I have a actually fairly big personality, but a lot of folk don't get to see it because I don't trust y'all. So <laughs> Real. Um, these are some of my closest friends. So that's, you know, place where I feel most comfortable. So I feel like it's going to be a great forum for me to kind of get out of my shelf self. And then also I feel like we provide a great platform for people to relate. Like, I feel like there's literally something for everybody amongst all of us. And, you know, real. See, I think personally for me, what I want to get out of it is I just think it's fun. (laughs) And I think it's more like an outlet for me. Like I said, I like to share my opinions, but I feel like it's an outlet for me to like sort of share my opinions. So that way when people like, why do you think the way you think? Because I know oftentimes I talk to people and I just jump from topic to topic and I'll just make connections. It'd be the random thing. But like, hopefully I'm hoping through this, people understand the way like this mind works. And they're like, okay, that's that's why he like he is. So yeah. Okay. I feel like for me, I can agree with all three of you. I feel like for me overall, it's more like to kind of exercise and express my opinions more. I feel like I'm the person that has a lot of opinions, but I don't ever really share them. And I don't really... It's not that I don't think people care. It's just that I don't really care about a lot of people's opinions. So yeah. selfishly, I don't really want to share my own. If I'm sitting over here not caring what you want to say, why do you, you know, why do you want to hear what I want to say? But I know people do. Um, as you guys know, um, I own businesses and I don't really ever put myself out there when it comes to that type of stuff. I kind of just stick behind the brand and just kind of let the brand do what it does. And I feel like I've never been able to be vocal. And now that I'm hitting, um, turning 22 soon, Mm-hmm. I, yeah. f- I figured mm-hmm. that um, it, mm-hmm. was very <laughs> it was happy belated by the way <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> I thought it was very important for me um, in 24 just to do something that I want to do I watch podcasts all the time and I do think it'd be fun and I do think that um, just hanging out talking um, talking our shit if you will I don't know I feel like it'd be a I know I know I just feel, <laughs> I feel like it'd be a good thing for all of us to get together and just communicate and talk about topics that we probably already talk about, but maybe I feel like in a setting like this, we can actually, you know, have a good conversation, mm-hmm. healthy conversation, and also people who can relate to us. Because I know that I can't relate to a lot of people. So I go out there looking for podcasts to be relatable for me. And I want to be that for someone else, um, not to be cliche, but I feel like it's just kind of hard to find things these days. There's just so, there's just, everything is just so oversaturated that I wanted to bring something that's hard to find and make it easily accessible real true that and i mean outside of a key has anyone else ever like dabbled into like podcast or even speaking in a public forum in that manner i knew well public forum i feel like i've definitely like i do like you was a tiktok girly for a good second i boy (laughs) boy, he him yes (laughs) i feel like i've definitely done like public public speaking and things like that and i've done you know, workshops and um, been to like big libraries and just talked about plants and things like that. But I feel like when it comes to that stuff, it's more of a job for me. So I don't really feel like it's a freedom of speech and I can't really be myself Mm -hmm. because people don't really want to hear the truth. When you're doing things like that, they want to hear what they already think is the truth. What they're paying for you to come to. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I tell them that plant is dead or if I say, oh, well, you're doing that wrong, they're going to kind of tune me out and not really care to be there. It's true. I've seen it. Here, oh yes, you did go to it with me. Yes. yes. So I feel like with this, I can speak my truth and it is what it is. If you don't like it, don't tune in. Yeah. Period. But tune in, y'all. Please. Yes. <laughs> please, please, please tune in. <laughs> podcasts are fun. I think um one of the podcasts that I, we used to do, so when I was back in college, we had the radio station and I had a show on there, but we used to do a podcast every at the end of the semester, which was like um the best albums or the best songs of whatever by the end of the semester or the year normally we would do it for like the end of the year and let me tell you i used to go to war i used to i used to be debating about my faves down like i think one year i was able to get like lemonade a seat at the table and um anti on that list of like the top 10 albums and everybody was mad you know because like it's beyonce 
Yikes. Well, I wow. put it on there because like, Move okay, right so, along. yeah, <laughs> because like I went to Kent State and so like it has a really big like pop punk um like scene, like everybody loves pop punk. So like I was in there like on our radio station and they was like, oh, you're just mainstream. I'm like, so? And I was battling down and I did it every single, every single semester I did it and they hated me and I was like, but they still on that list though. Oh, I want to touch on one more thing about the podcast. Boom, Another boom. reason for me, like, you guys, some of you guys may already know this, but when it comes to me and things that I do, normally the things that I end up doing on my own, I try to do it with someone else or I try to be a part of someone else's venture. Mm-hmm. And with the podcast, I've reached out to numerous podcasts that are locally in Columbus to see if I'd be able to, you know, be a guest on the show. And they take me through the ringer, they get my email, they get my phone number, and then they go quiet. Oh. So. Here we are. And that's the Aries in you. That's the Aries in me. (laughs) You don't help me, I'll help myself. I I did it myself, yeah. So, yeah, that's another reason for me doing a podcast. No, truly, that's how you do it. Um, Are there any topics that will be off limit in this podcast? No. No, per se. um, I won't name drop. I don't name drop. I will. um, (laughs) I don't care. I I'll will name it. drop, but, mm. you know, it gives the context. I feel um, like off limits, I feel like we have boundaries within each other. Yeah. So I feel like if there's a topic that somebody's not comfortable speaking on or being a part of, we don't want to make them uncomfortable. So maybe we will skip that or maybe we'll skip them or maybe it'd be planned mm-hmm. where somebody can't be here for that. Because for sure. I'm big on boundaries and I'm big on if somebody doesn't want to speak on something, stand on that. And we need to respect that as well. Boom, boom. Because um, well, I think it's important, but. Off limits, I feel like we're all pretty free spirit and open people, mm-hmm. but I'm sure there will be something that might be triggering to one of us. So, well, even with like, while I understand our boundaries within each other, each other, we can always discuss that offline. I also feel like some, if anybody has potential boundaries that, because we do ultimately want you all's questions to be thrown in eventually, maybe we should make that known to the viewer what we, what we're not talking about. Ask me anything. <laughs> Quite literally. You can ask me anything. I'm going to answer it. Um, and if I don't want to answer it, I'm just going to be like, I have no comment. Right. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Code word. I feel like I'm pretty open too, but I mean, I'll be getting in my mood. So we'll, just, yeah. we'll see. Just don't break up my ex of six years and I'll be okay. Oh, well, <laughs> actually leading to my next question. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, no, I don't think, I think sort of like what you all said, um, it's not like things are like going to be like off limits, but we respect boundaries. So if a topic comes up or something and someone does not want to be a t- part of that conversation, that is okay. If something's triggering, that is okay. We will respect that um, and either talk about it, A, at a time when that person is not there, or B, just not talk about it. Definitely. Absolutely. Um, For me, what's another good one that we can get into? Um. Let's sum up 2023 in just one word or one phrase. I'm open to it if it's a couple of words. Okay. For me, it is abysmal. Abysmal. Treacherous. <laughs> mm-hmm. One word. Mm-hmm. Eye opening. I'm finding it. <laughs> I'm, fi- I'm finding I'm it. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. Because um. your 2023 was like <sighs> eventful. <laughs> Eventful awakening. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Finding it. He finding it. He finding it. I, I, that's what it is. Eventful awakening. Uh, tumultuous. Um, but almost like a a next step in evolution type of thing. Okay like evolving um you needed to go through some of the bull swanky to uh start this year off right but that's yeah that's what i'm gonna say for me what it is for me i feel like without this is obvious but without 20 20 21 22 you couldn't have 23 so mine is a little more complex i'm just a complex person in general so i can't really speak on 23 as itself but for me i feel like it was a roller coaster um 2020 was an amazing year for me. Um, So amazing. 21 was decent. You know, it was decent. 22, mm, 23, hell no. Um, I feel like 23, I had a lot of like, a lot of down, a lot of down in 23. And I feel like it's definitely 
put my mental to where it is now in 24. So um, 23 was hard. 23 was, it was hard for me on all levels. Um, relationships, rather it's platonic, you know, friendships, family, business, um, physical health, mental health. I feel like it was, it was a difficult time for me. So I'll, I guess that's the word difficult. I don't think it really built me to be who I am today. I don't really see the, the point of 23 in terms of like making me stronger, you know, building me up. But um, it was a year. It was a year. That's real. But I met I met you two in 23 though, so. Right, so it was the best year of your life. <laughs> My, it was kind of a roller coaster for me. It kind of started off on a low and then it got high. And then we low again. And then got high. Start out and then low for low. you. I forgot ba- about baby, that. Baby, we was out here no job, just living life. Woo. We was out here January, your best life no though. Job. Low okay. key, they Come had on. me out every weekend. We was on a blast. We had a blast, but then I was like, "Ooh, I'm broke," but I was still out there. Um, and it was fun. Um, then I got a new job, and I was like, "Okay, we back." But then that job was in office, and I was like, "Oh." But then it got better and I like sort of readjusted to actually like going to work and like being in the office and doing stuff. Cause my last job before that was completely remote. Like I told people like I was getting haircuts and going grocery shopping when I was working. Like ain't nothing like being paid to do your errands. <laughs> but like, so yeah, um, adjusting back to that. And then, yeah, I would say it was a roller coaster cause then it got a little shaky. And then I went down again, but then we went up and then December was just a hot ass mess. And I was like, all right, not my birthday month, but you know, Hey, we survived and we're in 2024 now. Yeah. Parts of us at least real quick yeah. before we get, uh, go any further. We do also want to give a big shout out to our engineer, Dan, um, who makes all this possible. Um, just kind of, you know, him helping us along this process. That Absolutely. We, for those of us that are new to the podcast scene, it's folk like him that really help us out with this. So we just want to make sure we didn't go too far without, you know, doing that. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. And I promise I did have my phone on silent, but I guess that does not count for like alarms. So, yeah, my bad. (laughs) Well, so, fellas, what do we feel in 2020? Well, I guess now 2024. 2024, yes, Mm -hmm. 2024. In 2024, has anything jumped out to you so far that's been different than previous or that you weren't expecting, rather? For me, lately, my mental has been tarnishing. Like, oh no, oh, the good no. or the bad, the the worst. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with me, honestly. But um, yeah, that's <laughs> that's like the only thing for me. But I mean, I'm still I'm still me at the end of the day. I, I think obviously I closed my store, um, so okay. I think maybe that has something to do with it. I definitely feel like it was for the better, but now I'm feeling like <laughs> I don't Damn. know. I just think yeah. Maybe I'm just bored. I don't know. But like, I just have anxiety and that's been, you know, that's been troubling me and I've been going through it, but that's about it. But I mean, we're only a month in, so, Mm. and it's, yeah, my first, my first time ever feeling like this too. So, Mm. well, Megan said it best Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, bad bitches have bad days too. I don't. Yeah. Trainer, Sometimes this trainer. pussy's depressed. I mean, <laughs> the stallion, the stallion. But you know, that's real. But that is real. Like, that can be tough. Yeah. Trust me, I know. Because last year I was. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I, but it gets it gets better. It definitely does. For me, at least. Um, my twenty twenty four has been sensational. Like, I honestly have huh? everything's been on an upswing. I'm making more money than I than I wasn't. Uh, than I was rather, um, cause I don't know about y'all, but this job market is ridiculous. A hot mess. Ridiculous. Nasty. I I have never had to fight for obtaining secondary employment so hard in my life, <laughs> but it finally came through, <laughs> and we thank him. Um, even though it is not in an environment that you typically find yourself in, right? Um. It's it's around a different demographic for sure, and it is definitely something that I am adjusting to. But it's been it's been pleasant, and they listen to me, and they seem to actually like me there. So I'll take it. Well, that's good. Yeah. So and you know, I finally closed that chapter of my relationship. Um, so that is also something new. I haven't been, I have not been single since 
2016. Oh. More than six days. So screaming. <laughs> this has definitely been an investment for me. <laughs> <laughs> if you like that though. I think for me it's just like I would say it's been interesting so far. Um like I said, December was trash because it was like a bunch of like personal family issues going on. But those seem to have sort of like finally mended themselves. So we like, yay. But I guess like more so in terms of like me trying to figure out like what it is that I exactly want to do. I will say this is the first year that I feel like really energized to like focus on like not just like my actual like not like my job and that career, but like my personal hobbies and those careers that I want to do. Like, it's important. Yeah. Cause I've always wanted to get back into DJing. And so like, I've literally been yeah. like actually getting stuff together for Amazon and starting to order things. Um, got to get my computer fixed still, but you know, we will eventually. Still. Yeah. You know, I just been lazy about that. <laughs> it, I just, you know, I hate to part with that money, but Ooh. um, yeah. So that I've actually started like streaming again on Twitch. So I'm like, okay, like we actually care. I know I was excited to see that you do doing that again. I was too, yeah. yeah. You know, you know, it's a fun time, and I just like to play horror games and get scared. And I feel you like said horror, by the way. Oh yeah, horror. Scary. I would say scary games. Sorry, <laughs> sometimes my English is not the greatest. He's not but, from here. Yeah, Ebonics is his first language. You know. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so I would say it's been interesting, and I will say I feel very energized to invest within myself instead of investing mm. into like others I if love that, that makes sense yeah definitely 100 percent. and when makes... i say i don't mean like not invest in my friends because i'll always invest within my friends and my family but like not investing into different like companies or different things like that that's like yeah i know i have to do this work but like remember mm-hmm. investing yourself as well so yeah that's important rather you're working or not like investing yourself like mm-hmm. you have to and i think cause... something that i've been super immensely proud of each one of you on is that i feel like whether it came through like turmoil or y'all going through a really bad patch before this, like all of you have been really choosing to like choose yourself, be it like, you know, be like you choosing to kind of focus more on your own thing, closing the shop, Robbie, you and your own ordeals as far as like, you know, just, you know, really focusing on yourself. And like you said, a key with different things. <laughs> uh, I missed the shade too. Because <laughs> I wasn't being shady. <laughs> You know, so, and I will, I will preface this now. Oh, y'all Your will deals. think I will okay. be shady a few times, and I'll really be trying to pour into my sisters, but let that be the last time I ever <laughs> show oh. any of these ragamuffins. Oh. I'm proud of them. Um, in fact, I hope the rest of y'all's 2024 mm-hmm. is terrible. <laughs> Rebuke. Mm-hmm. For me, what happened? Uh, let's see. Um, December was. Dookie, January, <laughs> Dookie. Um, but like I, this past week, I don't know what it is coming out of a depressive episode. I always feel like I'm Winnie. like a phoenix. I don't know, like a phoenix rising. I'm just like, come on, James. I saw your post. Bam. I was like, okay, I see I'm like, Gray bam, 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 bam. So, um, I think I'm gonna try to carry that as far and ride that wave <laughs> as long as possible. So, Real. and then like. Are we getting into like what are we 2024? Well, what, what you got for 2024? What you got planned for? 2024? I'm not planning oh, yeah. nothing. Oh, uh, well, mine was to be a little bit more mean. And if you know me, you know what I say when I say that. But if you don't, mean is like more like a backbone. Boom. There's the shade. <laughs> you know, but, is it? <laughs> but it's true. I will say. Uh, just like more boundaries, um, saying no more, no more people pleasing, stuff like that. Bro. Um, not to go back to like, the former Robbie, but finding balance between the love and light Robbie and the Robbie that will take it, take mm-hmm. it there with you. So, just doing that, because not everybody deserves that like sweetness. Most part of, of these, you. most oop, most <laughs> of these people, <laughs> almost as if most of them don't. Most of them don't. Um, there's yeah, most of them don't. Let me not. But that's mm-hmm. real because like. I would say, like, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm a people pleaser down. I think it's a sad thing. Like, that's why, like, people are like, where do you want to go to eat? I don't know. I'm gonna let you choose everything. You I do don't that. care. And it, mostly because I'm like, if 
I pick and it's nasty. I don't want the fault. Like I'm like, oh well, Aki pick. No, Aki ain't do nothing. I don't want the accountability for that. So yeah, but like, I people please a lot, and so I really had to start learning. Like, okay, stop people pleasing and let me start putting myself first. I think you have a backbone. I've seen it. You know, I've seen it in action. But I do think that oftentimes, like after you use that backbone, you give a lot of people grace. Whereas I'm the type of person, if I have to t go there with you, then like don't even look at me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Whereas you'd be like, it's okay, we're friends now. And I'm like, yeah. oh, no. Or always trying to see the good. Yeah, or always trying to see the good. Op op uh, delusionally optimistic. Always trying to Delus see the good yeah. people yeah. in situations. Some That's of these me. people My are My sister horrid. has a beating heart, and she thinks y'all are the best people. And I'll be trying to tell her, y'all are awful. I'm learning now. Horrible. Terrible. Disgusting. And believe you the first time. Believe Crazy. you the first time. Anybody else? 2024 goals? I just... I. I just want to make more money. Um, I'm really real. I know America has it against me, um, but <laughs> they hate us. Oh my god, they hate us so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, they really don't. I, I just really want to be able to bless those around me. Like, um, it's crazy, honestly, because the first thing I think about if I ever like won the lottery or hit something, I'm like I would probably pour into y'all before I pour into my own family. But that that's a different topic for a different day. You know, well, love those who love you. Um, Boom. But yeah, I just want to necessarily, um, I want to necessarily just have a better year than I did previously. I think that's always just my goal with anything is to be better, kinder, more evolved than my previous self. Um, and I'm, I was actually fairly proud of a lot of the self work I did last year. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually fighting to try to say what, like, what else can I do? Like, I mean. This is, I'm kind of at the tip now. Boom. I just, I just think my goal is the same. Like, continue just to like invest in myself. Um, um, one of the goals is I, I say this every year, and every year Planet Fitness look look at me when I step outside that building. They're like, oh, here they go again, <laughs> about to fail again. But like, one of my goals is to actually like get this body together. Like, I just really feel like I deserve that. I just need it for a good like. I just need a nice bike for a good like one year, and then it can go back to being whatever. You'd but, be dangerous with like a, a you know dangerous. I just feel like I'd be dangerous. I feel like I could break some necks, and so that is one of my goals. And I think another one of my goals is just to get out of the house some more, because I like staying in the house. I love staying in the house and watching TV and watching scary movies and playing video games. Like, shoot, I'm not What's even going out. That? There. You know, that's what I'm saying. But then like on weekends, everybody's like, you need to go out more, and I'm like. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah, I think, you know, I'm off to a good start, you know, I'm on my cleanse, so I'm not consuming any alcohol currently. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. someone, um, is, but I mean, it's okay. Cause January is basically over. If you think about I'm it. Trying. Not yet. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'm trying again in February. Um, again, part, <laughs> part of that prosperity I was speaking of, I got a new job at a brewery, so I'm not well-versed in beer. So I had to start drinking beers to get like the flavor profiles and I at that point beer. it was a sticky do you uh, you know i love a good you know you love a little uh, a blue moon a corona a modello you're a brusque you i like a, brusque. a i like a nice wow. style wow. okay well you gotta come through because we have a real nice triple ipa a nice okay little... see that's where you lose me i don't do ipas you'll do the one we got because i don't do ipas either and it's actually really solid okay bet. so my 24 oh. um <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> So back to me. Um, my twenty four. I feel like for me, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm. Uh, I'm pretty dramatic right now. Obviously, with my mental state. So mine is just to find happiness, find peace within myself. Um, I've always been a solitary person, but I feel like I, I want to bring people in and embrace them because I find myself in my darkest moments, obviously still alone. But I put myself there, so it's kind of like hard to let somebody in. So I feel like for me, I'm trying to embrace people more, not be so, I am a very um, judgmental person. Um, well, yes. Blessfully and blissfully though. I, I'm not like judgmental in like a negative sense. I'm judgmental in like, I, okay, well I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. And I'm not a fan of that. Or I, I don't want to be friends with somebody or I don't want to talk to somebody that does that. Cause that's not what I would do. Or are they going to judge me because they do this and I don't do that. And I think I just, I overanalyze and overthink about everything. I've always been that way. That's just part of my way of, just coping with everyday life. Um, I've been doing my own thing since I was 19, literally on my own. 
and I feel like that's all that I've really known. And now that I'm, again, about to be 22, I feel like it's important for me to bring people in and kind of build that like community and mm -hmm. friendship and family even, because I don't have much of a family. My family is very small and all of my family has kids and I can't really relate to them. And I'm big on re being relatable and relating with people and things in general. And I feel like I can't relate with my family. Um, I didn't really, you know, bring my friends in as much as I should have, but I, I've always had my own, you know, things going on and working all the time. So I feel like for me, 24 is just, again, being happy, finding that peace and just, I already do what I want to do all the time. So I can't even say do what I want to do because that's going to do, it's going to be me regardless. So I think it's just finding that like peace and happiness and just embracing people a little more because I am very standoffish and I, I'm, no, I know I'm not, not very inviting looking um, and that's just how, who I am. I'm not an inviting person at He's all. Not. So, so it's like, I don't really, I need to work on that though, but I can't work on my face. Like it's just, it is what it is. And if you're intimidated or if you just think I'm mean, I don't, I don't really care, but I, I want to be nice to the people that I think deserve it. Um, which again, that's just judgment. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to speak as somebody who had a brief set of like working directly underneath B. I will say this from areas to areas. I don't think. I think B is being a bit hard of himself. He's actually a big sweetie. Um, I think... I think sometimes that maybe potentially you you do have a tough shell. But that's kind of at the work of the other person to want to get through that. Like, just because maybe they have to do a little bit more effort to get to know you or get effort to see who you are doesn't, mess, doesn't necessarily make that a fault of your own. I feel like that's the fault of the other person because, I mean the material is there whether or not they can kind of see through that and really kind of choose to get to know you at that point that's mm -hmm. that's a you thing i i've only experienced that with myself because there's a lot of like i rub a lot of the girls the wrong way myself and i used to take that i kind of take that in internally of just like oh what can i do differently to make myself like more more pa uh, palatable to folk or like people you know see me and like want to speak to me or want to you know x y and z and <laughs> And at the end of the day, you really just can't worry about these people and about how they feel and how they think. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't care what they think or how they think of me, mm -hmm. but I want to be for myself. I want to embrace people more and like, you know, find friends or find good things within them. Mm -hmm. Cause that's I just true. think I'm very judgmental. Like you can literally walk in the room and do nothing wrong. And I'm like, mm. what's wrong with that though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's healthy. Cause look at me. I'm, well, all, by, I'm, I'm all by myself. You're not. I'm truly. I can be judgy. I too, am. Though. I'm, I'm okay. extremely judgmental. I'm very judgmental. I'm but judgmental. but you I can tip through. You though. two also embrace <laughs> people. Like you guys go places. You know people. You're a people pleaser, as you said, or you mm -hmm. used to be. And I think you you recovering. like attention. Recovering. Oh well. well you well. do like attention. You get it. <laughs> you, you receive it regardless. But you you do like given. attention. Like, yeah. <laughs> so for me, I can walk into a room and not care about anything or anybody. But that's Same. not healthy. Cause I feel like you should mm -hmm. want, you know, you should want to make eye contact. You should want to communicate. Like you're out for a reason. Like I take myself out and I would go these things and I'm just like, mm -hmm. mm, I want to be here, but I could do what y'all draw. Real. And that's not healthy. I like people. I don't. When I go out. But I also might be on the spectrum. So that could be that too. <laughs> I mean, I like people when I go out to the point where when we're out, we can be cool. But sometimes that's where it needs to end. Boom. That's real. I get where you're coming from because, like, I used to always, like, not gonna lie, I used to always be told, like, oh, I thought you were standoff as the first time I met you. I thought you were stuck up or, like, I always got told I had, like, really bad resting bitch face. I can't help it. Sometimes I'm I just, bitch just be looking. quiet. Like, you, you know, period. like, and so, like, I did notice, like, I'm not gonna hold you. Like, I would go, when I would go out, like, you know, and meet up with Robbie and stuff, like, Robbie have a, has a ton of people who come up to him Ooh. and say hi, all that. Robbie! Cool. Robbie, 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 like Robbie. fighting to say hi, which cool. I don't know what they talking about. The way they do that, as soon as they do that, Child. I quite literally just be on my phone, like. Because have y'all ever seen that scene from Nemo where the seagulls is like mine, mine, mine? That, literally, but I've never like seen Robbie, Nemo. Robbie, Robbie, like like it's like, and or like they'd be looking at you funny because they think you talking to Robbie or something, oh, baby. and whole time oh, you like, oh we're friends, or like I I just can't. I I'm bought this man a drink friend. and it's like, y'all fucking. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're quite literally just that friends. That is my sister. That is incest. <laughs> <laughs> and but then yeah. the people who do that, I don't even Boom. be looking at them. Boom. Boom. 
that and that be the and that is what gets me. I'm joking, <laughs> but no, like so yeah, I get where you're coming from yeah. because like I oftentimes go in rooms or I'm somewhere. I'm like I really don't want to be here or like this is fun, but I don't have to be around y'all. Mm-hmm. I now like force myself to smile. Like I like I try to do like a nice little happy face, like a. Like, I do that. That's my corporate wave. Everybody loves it. They're like, oh, my God, he's so nice and inviting the whole time. I'm like, I want to go home because, like, Bad. the way this social battery will drain in, like, a second. And I'd be like, oh, I need to be back home. So, yeah, I get where you're coming from. It's okay. I was told by a close friend that apparently when I, like, compliment people or, like, try to interact with people, it doesn't come <laughs> off as, like, what's so funny? It doesn't come <laughs> off, like, I was told friendly. Like, like, no, I can agree. I feel like you do that often, actually. I, I'll, I'll give a, wow. I'll give an example. Wow! I love Go. your shoes. I wouldn't have worn those that outfit or those socks. Oh, bitch! But the color, <laughs> the color, the color is it. The color is it. He's never gone that far, but his 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 compliments are very it's one note, dry. monotone, very it's a much. Dry. I, where I would be like, "Oh, you wearing that? That's a nice. That's a nice shoe. That's a nice shirt." Here's him. Nice shirt. Mind you, I think when like, I'm saying oh. it, it's said, it said like him the first time. Like, I think I'm going like, yes, babe. Like, <laughs> you mean work. it. No. It'd be funny because it really do. I'm not going to lie. It really do be like, I really like that color in that shirt. That'd be it. And that's what's It'd crazy because like, uh, to me, I feel like if I'm like, oh, my God, you're killing it. That comes off as fake. That comes off as me being disingenuous. Like, I'm not about to. Yes, you're eating. But like. <laughs> I'm eating I'm you up. I'm joking. <laughs> And I'm in sweats. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I can't, like, I'm, I I genuinely mean the compliment, but I'm not going to, like, take a page out of Nikki's book and, like, kiss your ass for you to feel that way. Like, Boom. I get you, though. Because, like, I feel like I'm, like, the same way. Like, I'm not saying, like, I, I don't think I'll be mean, but I'll be like, oh, I like your shoes. And, and then, that's the compliment. And, and mind you, they think it's shade. And I'm like, no, I actually like those shoes. Like, because I, I've, my mom always taught me shoes. I was like never be afraid to give somebody a compliment because like you know she was like I, she and she showed me that my father was the same way like don't be afraid to compliment people like you know mm-hmm. so i would tell me i'm like oh i like your shoes or oh i like that shirt or whatever and but sometimes they'd be like do you really i'm like no yeah because and just because like you said because i'm like oh that shirt is that shirt is fire bro will you get it from da, 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 da. i'm like i'm not about to fall out about it but my no. whole thing is just like because me personally i feel like insecure people feel bad about complimenting people about things because it's like me like i too am a bad bitch i have no problem telling a fellow bad bitch that they're a bad bitch (laughs) and like that doesn't make me any less of one that doesn't make you any more of one like we we can both coexist we can both be in the space of bad bitchery together there's enough to go around I get it. It's mean kind of, girls can't do that. They can't. It's kind of like that thing. Um, my favorite meme is like that girl who's like telling the story or something about this guy she was talking to, and he was talking to another girl, and I forget, but I just remember she be like, "The girl wasn't ugly. She wasn't ugly, but she, she wasn't, wasn't me." Mean. And it's like I'm giving you your things, but you're still not me, and that's okay. It's like both I'm not equal. You. We both equally couldn't, but like don't want to be, but. <laughs> If you are the one that you think that you are, you never have to step in a room and look down on people or and announce yourself or be something. negative to people or anything like that. If you really are one of them ones, you one of them ones regardless. Yeah, so, we saw that. We saw that in action. Hey, somebody hey. just we saw it in action. Somebody Robbie just walked through and was just himself. Hey, like he didn't even say like hey, but he just talked like, oh hi, how are you? Da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, somebody mad. Oh yeah, hot. I'd be oblivious hot. to something. <laughs> well, you know, like they, the funniest thing. You, you go out with this girl and she's just having a ball. Just he, he, I'm having a ball, and, and you're mad. Someone simmering in the corner, Seething. or this person like he think my 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 my, and this is like the he way think this, you think y'all that? Oh, what? I didn't even do anything. This young woman is having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> a ball, a blast, and you're mad. And, and I can't help that. It. I can't help your. Let security. him do his job. I'm you not. I'm not a psychiatrist, <laughs> psychologist, therapist. I don't, I can't help you. People be fighting their childhood trauma and don't even know it. That really be it. Boom. Bless your, your heart. Your mother didn't love you. That's Bless not my fault. Bless your heart, beloved. Bless your heart. I'm not gonna lie. I do hate though. Like, okay, so like the whole mother in love, because I, I get that. Because I remember growing up, I used to get bullied a lot. Or people tried to bully me. But when I like first moved here. How is that? What, getting bullied? It's funny. Horrible. It's funny. Looking I back, think it's, it's funny, funny as hell. Because yeah. it's like, you're bullying me. 
but like like well they think they're bullying me and i'm like okay because i'm the type of person like i can take a lot and just ignore it but then when i finally snapped and i was like all right so what you want to do then all of a sudden it was like it's not even that deep bro yeah no now it's not deep because you know you about to get exactly it was a joke it was a joke it no was it wasn't well, a joke. Like, yeah now now i brought your grandmother out the grave now you want to back off <laughs> i gave you opportunity to leave this alone oh, was kiki kiki that is low no, <laughs> no because like i feel like people often tell it's like oh it's not that deep it's like well, if you want to be funny i'm going we're going to be hilarious right. like let's go ahead and put on the stand-up show so or, yeah and I'm a firm believer of like, you don't get to dictate how people respond to mm -hmm. what you do. Like if you go to hypothetically shoot me and you oh. miss, and I decide to run you over with a car, you can now be like, whoa, 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 that's like, you know, an eye for an eye. No, it's like, for me, yeah. it's like eye for a kidney or eye for a <laughs> internal spi spinal not a cord. Kidney. Like I'm not going to match energy in that capacity because at the end of the day, you should have just left me alone. <laughs> Mm. You quite literally could have avoided all this mm. if you left me alone. No, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for one, I'm big on revenge. Oh. And people always, oh, you just yes. don't need to get it. Oh, yes, I do. I'm going to get it whether you know it or not. Usually mine is like really behind the scenes. You're not gonna. I'm not gonna slash it. Mm. <laughs> See, I say let. I love a little quiet. Let get God and let go. No. Like, mm -mm. I wonder how the cops found me. They be take, <laughs> the universe, karma, all that stuff. Be taking too long sometimes. So I gotta really snap it to you real quick. And then they can come and get theirs, but I'm gonna get mine. That's real though. I don't care how I've long. I've never, it takes I've never done revenge. I don't, I don't. Really? I can't. I've never done revenge. I've been through some stuff, but I've never done revenge like ever. Oh, baby. Sorry. That's real. You got to. You got to do that for your dad. That's I good stuff. To. I feel like I just don't have it in chest. me. I don't. I don't need it. Like I feel like mm. that's just one more thing for me to. Again, I overthink and I read like it's one more thing. One more thing for me to think about and feel bad about, and then I do something revengeful and then i'm like okay now i gotta make up for that somehow some way mm -hmm. yeah. that's real but like i'll donate to a charity or something <laughs> i guess my thing is like i'm sort of like that like the whole like let go let god but like i'm still gonna get you it's like it's like i don't think mine is too crazy like say you say something real slick to me i'm gonna get i'm gonna say something slick back or I might just go in on you, but then I'm just I'm good. But no, well, what for if that's sure. what they want though. They want you, but to they react. do that. But then I, but then I ignore it. I ignore that. Just like the whole thing that we talked about before, like blocking somebody. You're giving them that energy and showing them that they actually got into your skin, and now you're blocking them. Well, I block you because I don't want to. Like see I'm not you. saying that like, you should not but that was a strong. that was a topic like a like a month ago. Like, mm -hmm. should you block people? Or are you showing them that you know? Yes. Because then, like, what if you unblock them? Then, like, are you letting? Oh, them I don't unblock. Yeah, I'm saying you're never getting back. We don't do parole. You, you, if you, if you want to, if you want to unblock, you gotta cash at me two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> and I don't even mean you're gonna be able to follow me again. Like you're, you're, you have a fee, just, just like a good, a good <laughs> like just like I have to pay them parking tickets. You gonna have to pay that hey. blocking. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, but like I feel like I don't, I don't necessarily do revenge, but I do revenge. Like I get you back. Like and it, and it won't be something like major. It's like I'll wait. And then, like, say it's something you need, like, oh, my car just broke down. Like, if you could please, like, I know we got beef. Oh, good luck. And I'm driving off. Like, one way or another, I'm going to get my lick back and you're going to hate it. Okay. I have done a lot of therapy and self work to no longer be where I used to be, but I used to be bad with That's revenge. Fun. Like, it wasn't even like. I'm talking cinder blocks to the back of the window, doors off the hinges, Monica very much vibes. Like I oh, I'm not down that, the door this man. That is strange. But yeah, no, I've I, I used to be really, really bad and I was like, hmm, this is gonna end me up in jail. So let me not I feel like my revenge is just looking unfazed. I'm good at like not looking concerned or phased at all. I'm kind of looking it was a tweet the other day. Said, I'm so bad at hiding how I feel. If I have to bet to everybody, everybody in the room gonna know. That used to be me growing up in my house. Like, well, I didn't make everybody have a bad day, but say I was feeling something and I would walk in the house, my mom would be like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, nothing. What's wrong with you? I'm like, nothing. So I could tell by your face. I thought I had the best poker face. She'd be like, oh, no, it's all over. You tow up. What happened? Y'all oh, yeah. get me hip to that. I have a horrible poker face. Yeah, I you do. I, oh, mm -hmm. I thought I'd just be like, mm-hmm. Don't nobody know. Mm -hmm. And then this, this. I catch it every time. Quick to be like, you all right? And I'm like, I'm fine. I was like, no, you're not, baby. Your eyes going <laughs> crazy. You over here looking at everybody stupid. I'm like. Mm -mm. B has a good poker face. Because B does this thing where he just looks deadpan. Like, it's just like. Mm-hmm. But it's honestly, if you know B, then you know. You know, nobody, like, you, you know. It's, like, not, oh, bad. It's, it's really not as, like, mm. as you would think. But, like, yeah. I have, like, a, 
Sorry. Oh, and I was gonna say because sometimes I remember like we were exchange looks. You would look at me and be like, and I'm like, right. okay, yeah. I have a. I feel like I want to touch on this question. So. Oh, oh I just <laughs> lost the cap. Mm. What the heck? Oh yeah. So what have you learned about yourself recently? I think that's a good question. I had an answer to that too. Oops, sorry. <laughs> what have I learned about myself? Um, I can be a tad bit codependent. Mm, that's real. Mm-hmm. On what? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was not trying to be funny. Like, because it was the same. <laughs> it was like it was the stare. I thought and you were going right. deeper into it. Oh no, just like I can be a tad bit codependent. I think I rely on my. I can do bad all by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. I feel like it's definitely. I didn't, I, truthfully, right in the God, I did not realize how bad it was until after I closed that chapter of my mm-hmm. half a decade relationship mm-hmm. to where I was like, hmm, I guess I don't really be alone. And I realized there's a lot of things that I need to like work on in regards to, you yeah, know, mitigating some of those responses and just being content with self. That's real. Mm-hmm. What I have figured out on my love and light journey from when I moved to Columbus 2020. So on my love and light journey, I think I subconsciously turned up the people pleasing like a thousand. Mm-hmm. And so just realizing like to turn it way down, way down, mm-hmm. way down. That's what is the main work on 2024. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I learned about myself, wow. Um, I learned that, you know, yeah. I'm joking. Yeah, it is what um, it is. That's a word. <laughs> I will say that what I learned about myself is, and I've been learning this my entire life, low key, but like I learned like little bits and pieces more. How do I say this? I'm that bitch. <laughs> Boom. But no, I feel like one of the things I learned about myself is that my walls are insane. And when I say, that, I mean emotional walls, baby. <laughs> emotional walls. <laughs> that oh, is see, crazy. Be, you oh, see? Because like, why would you think that? crazy. But no, like, I feel like <laughs> I have a lot of... The walls are Jericho ain't got know, nothing on Tumbling <laughs> down. But I feel like, like I have a lot of barriers, a lot of fences and stuff, and I have a lot of walls up. And like, it's funny because like, I would like... One time somebody told me, like, stop building a wall. Like, build a fence. And, like, I tried that. And then it didn't work. So I was like, well, let me get this wall back up. <laughs> so, like, my walls, like, I really have to, I guess I had to I had to talk to myself and be like, I need to learn how to be okay with getting hurt or being let down or being disappointed. Whether it is from, like, a romantic partner, a friend, family, whether it's, like, sort of, like, Maybe myself, because like I always felt like I would I like to do everything, if that makes sense. Like I like to have everything. So that way if something goes wrong, whatever, I'm I'm okay with being disappointed in myself, like, oh, I flopped that. But if I have to be disappointed in somebody else, it eats at me because it's like I trusted you. Hyper and independence. Yeah. So yeah. like I had to I have to I'm trying to learn to like mm-hmm. let that go. Are you your are you your mom's oldest? No, I'm her youngest. I'm the baby of the family. Vulnerability is a superpower. Yeah, no, it's crazy because I hate it. I don't like it. It sucks, but I don't care. It's not fun. For me, (laughs) I feel like what I learned, I feel like, I don't know. For me, it's like two things. I can relate to all three of you as well. I can relate to the whole people pleasing. I can relate to the whole, what'd you say again? I don't know. No. (laughs) Uh, codependent. He yes, because I feel like for me, I was a codependent person because I had a very long relationship as well. And then also when it comes to, what'd you say? You Having competing walls. with me? Yes, my walls are like crazy too. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I'm not very, I'm not a very vulnerable person at all. But most of all for me, I feel like I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Um, and that's huge. That's a huge lesson that I've learned. For me, I've always, again, done my own thing. I've done my businesses by myself, sole proprietor, LLC, single member. And Period. that's kind of how we are here Tokyo today. Tony trucking. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of why we are here because I wanted to do something, a venture with like, you know, people. I've never had partners in anything in my life. Even when I dated people, I feel like they weren't really like, you know, my partner. I feel like it was kind of like them and me. And this is my first time actually Come doing on, something right. that is a partnership. And I'm very proud of myself. And I learned that I do need people and that I, I'm, 
I'm not so bad as I thought I was by myself. I, I think I do need a community. I do need soldiers with me as well. Mm -hmm. I can lead myself anywhere and I, I will get there, but it's about staying there and about having that stability and, you know, having that structure too. And I feel like for me, that's very important these days because again, I'm about to be 22 and I feel like it's very important mm -hmm. to, you know, just be satisfied with where you are, but still be able to work harder. That's true. And I think, I don't know, that's just, that's just what I've learned is that I'm, not as strong as I thought it was and that I need people. So here we are. You just touched on something that I also learned about myself. And you said like work harder. Um, I also realized like career wise, I don't know, maybe it's cause I'm just, maybe I figured I I'm not as passionate, no but like I realized mm -hmm. that I'm like very much content with like never being in charge of anything. Like I like when people are like, oh, you're like, you know, so you can get to the next level in your career. And I'm like, actually, I just want to be able to put all my bills on auto pay and I'll be fine. And mm -hmm. even if that means like I'm not the like even like at most I could do management. I could be manager of like a Supervisor, single thing. Maybe. Supervisor, <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to be a director, the head of a department, anything. I just like I just want to be able to put all my bills on auto pay and not worry about when they come out. And like I've always been fine with that. And so I was like, is that because like, uh, maybe I'm not passionate about the work I do or is it because I'm just like, I've always been more of like a go with the flow type of person. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so what are some topics that we are, sorry, what were you about to say? Nothing. Okay. What are some topics that we are excited to talk about on this podcast? Nikki and Megan <laughs> <laughs> dating Dude. in this scene. I'm excited to talk about unpopular opinions because I have a lot of them and I feel like my unpopular opinions are like, they're insane, but I have them. I am excited to address. Um, yeah, I'm not. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh -oh. Well, we took a turn. Well, um, no, I'm just excited to just kind of the same thing as as a key. Like, I want to address those things that like are taboo or mm -hmm. or just you know people shy away from because it's just like you know oh we're gonna get canceled or oh we're gonna get. No, we need to have those talks. I mm -hmm. think I think there's a lot of things that are not discussed that should be discussed because people are afraid of having those tough conversations. Mm -hmm. And I'm not. Like I I want to tell you guys that some of you do need therapy and some of you are the messed up ones in the relationship and I feel like, you know, I'm not. I also want to tell you guys that some of you weaponize therapy. Boom. Or weaponize being a victim or weaponize your gaslighting or a number of things weaponize that allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. I know Act alleged. Okay. Factually. Um <laughs> Yeah, so I I think we there's a lot of topics I'm excited to talk about. Like I said, this is just episode one and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like the sky's the limit. Um I feel like we're gonna just be coming with more and more heat as time comes on. This is just really us getting our feet wet. But I think me yeah. you asked so i'm excited huh? to talk about <laughs> i'm excited before the time runs out before the time runs out i'm excited to talk about um i think relationships are very important to talk about because a lot of people who watch or listen to podcasts they're let's admit it they are pretty much lonely people or people who are listening from the car whoa in that moment wow. you're not listening you're not listening to a podcast at a party let's face it oh. so you are by yourself in that moment mm. so i think that when you listen to a podcast you're listening to a podcast for a reason rather it's you know leaving where, what you're doing and wanting to just kind of i guess translate an emotion through voice or video like for me i watch podcasts to either educate myself to get away from something or to just kind of learn more about someone else's opinion popular and unpopular mm -hmm. so for me i definitely want to talk about relationships um i want to talk about things that i know about that people may not know about because i think regardless of how you feel about something people are going to take your word for it people are going to come and listen to us or watch us and they're going to hear what we say and they're going to investigate it they're going to see if you know if it works for them and they might want to try it or you might say hey I'm a person who is very, I like to please people, but it doesn't work for me and I'm unhappy doing that. And they might be, oh crap, I can relate to that. Or like me, I was a person that had everything I ever wanted and it wasn't enough for me. And I'm starting back at zero again. So it's okay to be a people pleaser and want to, you know, fight mm -hmm. for yourself. It's mm -hmm. okay to have everything and start over again. It's okay to have two jobs. It's okay to have a job that you hate, but you're good at it. So you do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel like people can relate to that stuff. Like honestly, no, it's true. <laughs> no, it, no, 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 it's true, and and that can yeah. be educational for some people. It can be for sure. I also do want to talk about the Megan. I don't think y'all are lonely. <laughs> well, I don't mean lonely in a sense that they don't have any. Lonely to me doesn't mean you don't have anybody because obviously I have you guys, but I still feel lonely. So 
I think lonely is subjective. <laughs> I don't. I hate that. Big spoon or little spoon? I can't do it. I you don't like, like being alone? It's fun. Jeez. I adore being alone. I love alone. being alone. It's like, I literally, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get home. I'm Woo! like, do this, do that. And like, be by myself. I be in my room, <laughs> like, front door shut, locked, room door shut, locked. I just be in that thing. Draws cocoon, off. Literally just relaxing. Spaghetti on the stove. Like, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Um, well, since we're about to like wrap up very soon, um, I guess we can go around and say where people can like sort of find you at on your socials and get to learn about you more. So let's start with B. Again, my name is B. Um, I go by B Yellow. You can find me at Bees in a Trap on all of my social medias. Just kidding. B Yellow. That's B E E Y E L O. That is almost a Tinder. That's TikTok, Jesus. Instagram, Twitter. I think that's it. And OnlyFans. Period. Yes, and the OnlyFans is heat. We <laughs> must know. Top tier. No OnlyFans. That's a joke. That's a joke. I was That's a co star. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> co star is crazy. Both of us. <laughs> Even crazier. Well, um, we're doing what we Oh, um, your handle. Your social, oh, baby. Oh, Robbie. Your um, so my Instagram is Robbie double underscore R O B B I E Y double underscore. Bro. That's the only one y'all getting. <laughs> Truthfully, um, uh, Instagram, because you will never see my Twitter. I have my original Twitter from 2010, and you will not have me out of here. You can try, um, but Instagram is Zaya Angelou. Um, spell it as you see fit. If you find me, great. If you don't, <laughs> <laughs> real. Um, what's up? It's Aki again. Um, and you can find me on Instagram at aki.tbh. That is A K I I dot. TBH. Um, it's a fun time. I love it. You will not be getting that Twitter because like, ooh, was a troll at one point. So you're not getting it. But yeah. To this um, day. To this day, Loki. Mentions a mess right now. But yeah. <clears throat> that's me. And this has been Spitfire. This is the Spitfire podcast. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys for listening or watching wherever you are. We appreciate you. Be sure to stay tuned for more episodes because we are doing this weekly and we're excited about it. Um, we do have a website that'll be up as well. And you can also find our Patreon and our social media. Everything is at Spitfire Podcast. Um, we forgot to mention that, actually. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's Instagram, true. Facebook, Twitter. That's S-P-I-T-F-Y-R-E Podcast. S-P-Y-T. And we will, just oh, to kind of give you guys a little oh. clickbait for next episode, we oh. will be touching base on the Megan Nikki situation. We Perhaps. will, we will, yes, we yes, will. Yes. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, peace.